بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم عزیز ناظرین السلام علیکم آپ تمام کا بہت بہت استقبال ہے چینل وین کی ایک بہت ہی خاص پیشکش ایک پروگرام میں جس کو ہم بطور موضوع لینے والے ہیں فیملی اور اس کی انپورٹنس کے ناظرین فیملی ہماری سوسائیٹی کے لیے ہمارے نوع انسان کی جو ہمارا سماج ہے اس کے لیے کتنا انپورٹنٹ حصہ ہے یہ ایک انسان کے کردار پہ کتنی اہم جو ہے جگہ رکھتا ہے یہ کس طریقے سے ایک انسان کو جو ہے ایک آدمی میں تبدیل کر سکتا ہے یہ تمام ہی چیزوں کو ہم بہت ہی اچھی طریقے سے جانتے ہیں لیکن اکثر ہمارے ساتھ ہوتا یہ ہے کہ ہم اپنی فیملی ویلیوز اپنے فیملی سٹرکچر اور ہمارے فیملی کی ویکنس سٹرینتھ ان تمام باتوں پر کہیں نہ کہیں غور نہیں کرتے انہیں جو ہے اہمیت نہیں دیتے ہیں پھر ہوتا کیا ہے پھر ہوتا یہ ہے کہ انسان ان ویلیوز کو بھولنے لگتا ہے اور پھر یہی ویکنس جو ہے آگے چل کے اس کے کردار پر نمائع ہونے لگتی ہے یہ موضوع بہت ہی خاص ہے لہٰذا اس موضوع کو ہمارے ساتھ گفتگو کرنے کے لیے آج ہمارے سٹوڈیو میں بہت ہی خاص مہمان انٹرنیشنل مہمان جو ہیں موجود ہیں ان کے بارے میں ہم آپ کو بتا دیں آج ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں ایران سے ایران کلچر ہاؤس کی ڈیلی گیٹ خانم زینب رستگار پنہا ساتھ ہی یہ نہ صرف ایران کلچر کی ڈیلی گیٹ ہیں بلکہ ایک سوشل ایکٹیویسٹ بھی ہیں ان کا خود ایک این جی او بھی ہے جو کہ خواتین کے لیے کام کرتا ہے خواتین کے ساتھ کام کرتا ہے ان کے نیٹ ورک کو جو ہے مضبوط بنانا چاہتا ہے خانم انڈیا کے دورے پر ہیں اس سے پہلے انہوں نے رشیا اور سپین کا بھی جو ہے دورہ کیا ہوا ہے وہاں بھی جو ہے وہ اسی موضوع کو لے کر لوگوں میں اویرنیس پھیلانا چاہتی ہیں تو آئیے سب سے پہلے ہم ان کا استقبال کرتے ہیں اور انشاءاللہ ہماری گفتگو جو ہوگی اس پروگرام کی ان کے ساتھ انگلیش میں ہوگی اور انشاءاللہ کوشش کریں گے کہ ان کے جوابات آپ تک ہم پہنچا سکیں سلام علیکم سلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انڈیا ویلکم ٹو آر سٹوڈیو تھینک یو تھینک یو یو مچ اینڈ تھینک یو فار گیونگ می دس اپورچونیٹی ٹو بی ہیئر اینڈ وتھ یور آڈینس تھینک یو سو مچ فار کمنگ Khanam, as we know and as I was discussing to my viewers that family is a very important, uh, plays a very important role in the society, in, yeah. in the characteristics of our one individual as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, why family is, uh, you know, so important for an individual? Yes, um, because a family is a basic unit of every society, it uh, should be mentioned as a very, very important uh, uh, unit in the society. And it is very important for uh, every uh, uh, societies, every countries. And uh, what I uh, mentioned that uh, a healthy family, uh, that um, we um, explain healthy family as a family that um, is based on unity of a man and a woman uh, with a formal uh, contract and uh, during the marriage. Uh, if we have a healthy family in our society, we can train our next generation in a best way. And uh, um, in this way, we can um, improve our societies, we can work with our next uh, generation, uh, we can establish our values in the next generation, and it is very important. And um, we think that a healthy family is a family that everybody in that family has equal opportunity to grow. Gee. Yes, and uh, um, in spite of uh, your gender, you can uh, live in that family in equal situation, use equal opportunities, and uh, grow in the uh, humanity way. Okay. And uh, we think that uh, because of this, family is very important. Absolutely, absolutely. So you mean a family which is uh, consists of a male and a female. Yeah. They are coming together. They are building a biological, uh, you know, family system wherein a uh, family system and values are so uh, much important that it will create a new generation. It can give you a new generation, a new era 
to the uh, you know to the world and hum jo hai khanam ne jaise yahan bataya ki family se murad jo hai ek mard aur zan ka jo hai isme bahut hi important role hota hai unke mindset ka jo hai bahut hi important role hai ki wo kis tarike se aane wali generation ko jo hai wo dhal sakte hain naya kuch jo hai is duniya ko jo hai de sakte hain to iske liye मर्द और जन दोनों का भी पढ़ा लिखा होना बहुत ज़रूरी है दे हैव टू बी एजुकेटेड इनाफ दे हैव टू बी मोर स्किलफुल इनाफ राइट येस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रेन योर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन फॉर सम न्यू कल्चर्स फॉर सम रिफॉर्मेशन यू शुड ट्रेन योर फैमिली योर पेरेंट्स एंड इन दिस डेज आई थिंक आवर क्रूशल इशू दैट आवर पेरेंट्स शुड बी ट्रेंड and they didn't know exactly what they should to do okay if a uh, government uh, trained their family they can train their next generation too absolutely you mean to say ke hamare jo walidain hai hamare jo parents hain unka bhi padhna likhna unka bhi jo hai unhe bhi jo hai hum train kar sakte hain ye batane ke liye ki aane wali generation jo hai वो किस तरीके से बहुत एडवांस हो रही है या उनकी कैसे डिमांड्स हैं जो कि पेरेंट्स को भी अवेयर होना बहुत ज़रूरी है ताकि बच्चे और पेरेंट्स के बीच का जो तालमेल है द बैलेंस शुड बी वेरी वेरी गुड इन बिटवीन या एंड इफ़ यू थिंक अबाउट फैमिली एज ए यूनिक एंड एज ए बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ योर सोसाइटी मोर इम्पावर योर फैमिली more empower your society absolutely more absolutely. Uh, educated your family more educated your society absolutely. and it is very very important for example uh, we think about a uh, family like lifetime school for our uh, new uh, generation or next generation is better to say and um, one of the main role of family in every society is Uh, transforming uh, cultural values religion religious values uh, to next generation absolutely absolutely yes absolutely. and uh, because of this we think uh, that nature family or healthy family is very very important in every society and uh, it can be helpful for <laughs> governments uh, for having a, a perfect uh, सोसाइटी सोसाइटी एब्सोल्युटली बिल्कुल ही सही कहा खानम ने कि और बहुत ही अहम बात हमें यहाँ पर जो है खानम ने बताया कि एक फैमिली की यूनिटी इतिहाद अगर होगा तो यही इतिहाद जो होता है वो एक तसलसल एक बैलेंस बनाने में बहुत ही काम आता है और सोसाइटी को फॉर्म करने में जो है बहुत ही काम आता है लिहाजा फैमिली पर ध्यान देना ये देखना कि हमारे न सिर्फ हम तो आज जो है एजुकेशन के ऊपर ध्यान दे रहे हैं बच्चों की एजुकेशन पर ध्यान देते माँ बाप अक्सर ऐसे माँ बाप भी होते हैं जो उन जो कि इन्होंने जो है कभी एजुकेशन हासिल नहीं की लेकिन बच्चों पर जो है वो ध्यान दे रहे हैं बिल्कुल आपका ये फरीज फरीजा है फ़र्ज़ है आप पर कि आप अपने बच्चों की एजुकेशन पर ध्यान दें उनकी नशो पर उनकी अपब्रिंगिंग पर जो है ध्यान दें लेकिन साथ ही साथ आपके लिए भी आज ज़रूरी है कि यही बच्चे आगे चल किस तरीके के सोसाइटी में इंसान बन रहे हैं कौन से आ, इनके अंदर इखलाक हैं या किरदार हैं जो कि सोसाइटी में रिफ्लेक्ट होने वाले हैं लिहाजा आपके लिए भी ये ज़रूरी है कि आप भी आ, अपने आप को आ, उन तमाम चीज़ों से जो है ट्रेन करें राइट यस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फैमिली इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर इस्लाम and uh, for example uh, in some part of islamic history um, we can uh, find that uh, prophet muhammad do something with his uh, family um, did something with his family like mubahala absolutely, yes, absolutely. The, uh, he um, wanted to do this with his family because absolutely. his family is very uh, important for him and all the Uh, things that uh, he wants to say that uh, my family is so important and they can help me in this hard situation absolutely bahut hi umda misal di khanum ne yahan par ke family ki agar hum baat kar rahe hain to hum jo hai rasul e khuda sallallahu alaihi wasallam hamare akhri nabi aur unke gharane ko kaise bhul sakte hain 
آپ مباہلہ کا ایونٹ اٹھا کر دیکھ لیں یہاں پر بھی جو ہے رسول خدا صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم نے نہ صرف کے خود بلکہ آپ اپنی فیملی کو جو ہے دوسرے ریلیجن کے پاس جو ہے آپ وہاں لے آئے تھے اور اس طریقے سے جو ہے آپ نے دکھایا تھا کہ ہمارے اسلام میں فیملی سسٹم جو ہے وہ کتنا امپورٹنٹ ہے جی جی خانم ایز وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ فیملی دی یونیٹی آف فیملی اینڈ یو نو دا اپ برنگنگ آف چلڈرن اینڈ ٹیچنگ گڈ مارلس ٹو دی چلڈرن اینڈ ایون دی پیرنٹس واٹ یو تھنک وی سی اف اے ویمن از اے فیملی میکر ایز ویل ایز شی ہیز اے رول ان سوسائٹی ایز ویل ٹو ریفلیکٹ آن سو اکارڈنگ ٹو یو واٹ از دی رول آف ویمن ان ہر اون فیملی اینڈ ان دی سوسائٹی ایز ویل یس بیس آن جینڈر آف ویمن وی ہیو سم جینڈر رولس ان فیملی فار ایگزامپل اے ویمن کین بی ایز اے ڈاٹر ایز اے سسٹر ایز اے مادر اور ایز اے وائف اینڈ آل آف دیز رولس Uh, can be helpful in family okay. and uh, Quran speaks about all of them for example uh, mother of uh, juices uh, sister of Musa's or yes. for example uh, daughter of Shoaib yes. or uh, wife of uh, Fra and uh, they are so important their roles are important every role has a uh, special uh, responsibility in family and uh, for example uh, we think just a uh, mother should be uh, trained their children their roles is just uh, bringing up uh, their children uh, but uh, I, I think um, in Islam uh, the mother role is more than it uh, mother uh, are so important because they Uh, develop spiritual Islamic uh, values um, to their uh, children uh, the mother uh, are uh, the mothers are uh, people who help uh, family uh, to find their uh, th- thoughts their uh, values and uh, their beliefs Absolutely. Uh, yes, Absolutely. and because of this, just uh, bringing a uh, physical, physical um, bringing up a children is not important. Absolutely. Uh, you can so emotionally and mentally as yes. well. Mothers play very uh, important role in forming a family. Yes, and you can, uh, as a mother, you can play your role uh, as a messenger of God in your family, and uh, you can be a prophet for your. family because you are a great teacher of your family absolutely and um, in other side uh, mother as a mother women has a great economical role uh, in their family yes we don't pay anything for <laughs> their duties absolutely. it's absolutely. some kinds of unpaid job, uh, job. Yes. yes and we can't uh, get any any value for their job but uh, just imagine just imagine governments wants to pay uh, for babysitting every day yes how much is it a lot yes a lot. and uh, mother can help uh, economy of every country and uh, they um, with, uh, with care of their children and with um, how I can say uh, when um, with caring children, with um, helping uh, governments to uh, bringing up uh, a nice m- citizen. Yes, a good citizens. Yeah. And it's so valuable. In some countries, especially for example, Scandinavian uh, countries, uh, they paid mother. Uh, okay. But I think it's not valuable. Okay. I think, yes, okay. it's not okay. valuable. And you can't uh, say, okay, mothers should uh, give salaries but we should support them 
Absolutely. We should support mother. And we uh, should appreciate them. We should appreciate the efforts which they are putting uh, on their children in their upbringingness. And we should at least celebrate whatever they are, uh, you know, giving to the society through their family. And more their than more than this, you can give them uh, some kinds of uh, some kinds of uh, some uh, welfare uh, services, like uh, insurance, especially for mothers. Mothers, yes, yes. yes. and uh, some uh, facilities. Yes, for example, some gyms that mother can use with their uh, children their babies it can be so right, helpful right, uh, right because mothers are so so um, important for every society especially for economy of every society um, as a social activists i think uh, mothers every mothers are uh, um, social activists too absolutely yes absolutely Be, uh, because they can make their children's mind they can make their uh, values their uh, thoughts their beliefs the rights and the wrongs yes. and everything yes and uh, you can choose uh, for your children the way of thinking and it is very important absolutely because of this we think empowering mothers can be helpful and uh, as a sister for example in Islam uh, we have uh, a great sample uh, Hazrat Zainab is a great sister yeah is a great sister that accompanied uh, accompanies his brother in a very hard way and uh, at a very this hard comes, time for yes, Imam Hussain, it yes. was a very hard and a crucial decision. And we call, uh, we call her uh, Aqile Bani Hashem. It means the most uh, thankful and the most uh, wise women. Wise women, yes. yes. And uh, so we can, lots of uh, samples uh, can do it. Uh, as a daughter, you can be like uh, Hazrat Masoom Salamullah that helps her uh, father her brother again, yes. yes and i think when god gives us these kinds of samples it means that um, you as a woman should be active in your society Absolutely. in uh, economy in education in uh, social events in everything Absolutely. and you have some feature that i explain more about it uh, that can be helpful and God uh, puts them uh, and God I'm sorry puts them in our uh, uh, nature uh, because we have some kinds of res responsibility uh, yes True. in our life absolutely Khanam ne yaan bohat hi khubsurat baat kahi aur bohat hi khubsurat hastiyon ki johe no ne yaan par misal di hai ki agar aap ek family mein ek khatun hai chahe phir aap wo maa ho behen ho ya beti ho ये तमाम आपके पास किरदार हैं निभाने को लेकिन आपके पास यहाँ पर रोल मॉडल्स भी हैं आपने बताया कि किस तरीके से हमारे पास हज़रत मूसा का ज़माना देख लीजिए या आप किसी भी पैगंबर का ज़माना देख लीजिए या नबियों का अम्बिया का ज़माना देख लीजिए यहाँ पर भी जो है जनाब मरियम से जनाब फ़ातिमा जहरा सलाम जो है हमारे पास मदर्स के लिए रोल मॉडल हैं हमारे पास यहाँ पर बहनों के लिए रोल मॉडल्स मौजूद हैं جناب معصومہ قوم ہوں یا پھر جناب زینب سلام اللہ علیہ ہوں تو ہمارے پاس ایسی ہزاروں ہستیاں ہیں جن سے ہم جو ہیں اگر چاہیں اپنے کردار شناسی کرنا اگر اپنے کردار کو جو ہیں اگر ہم تراشنا چاہیں تو ہم ان تمام ہستیوں کی ان کی قربانیوں کے ان کے ایفرٹس کو دیکھتے ہوئے ہم اپنے آپ کو جو ہیں یہاں بالکل نمایاں اپنا جو ہے ہماری مینیفیسٹیشن جو ہے اسے اور بھی نمایاں کر سکتے ہیں اور بھی زیادہ روشن کر سکتے ہیں اپنے آپ کو بجائے یہ سوچنے کے لیے کہ اگر کوئی ہمیں موٹیویٹ کرے اگر کوئی ہمیں اہمیت دے اگر کوئی تو یہ اگر کوئی جو ہے اگر ہم اپنے زندگی سے نکال دیں اور خود اپنی ویلیو کرنا سیکھیں جیسے کہ خانم نے کہا تو ایک خاتون جو ہے وہ بہت ہی بڑا رول ادا کرتی ہے سوسائٹی کے نہ صرف فارمیشن میں بلکہ معاشیت میں بھی 
Okay, yes. uh, Khanam, as uh, we know that you've been to countries, you are meeting to women, you are uh, applauding their efforts and everything. You are telling them, you are uh, just showing them how valuable they are. Today in this era, we see the belief of family and family system is weakening. What do you think? What are the factors which are weakening the system? Um, it's different in uh, any countries. The factors uh, are different in any country. Every country. Okay. Yes, in every country. But uh, in same uh, uh, field, um, we can uh, uh, discuss about same factors. Um, in generally, uh, thinking about family is uh, in a wrong way uh, because in especially uh, I'm talking about Muslim communities okay uh, in Muslims uh, countries and communities uh, when you just um, think that uh, women uh, aren't powerful uh, women aren't uh, independent uh, women uh, are uh, be in a very hard situation yes, and yes. they can't improve by themselves yes. and something like this we make an imagination uh, an image and it's better this to is say like imagination. a preconceived notion about yes, women that uh, if having, you, she is uh, under some pressure is yes. she is under some uh, uh, I, I think uh, I don't know why and <laughs> where it was started by uh, we think that uh, as a Muslim woman if you get married you uh, put yourself in a bad situation you are like a prison yes. you are in, in the uh, prison and you will you, be caged yes and someone yeah. uh, wants to control you but the uh, sample of uh, Islam is not like this for marriage Okay. Uh, you are just a slave of uh, God and uh, you are human and with marriage it's supposed to improve and develop your life. Subhanallah. Yes, Subhanallah. not uh, restrict your life. I think these kinds of wrong thoughts, image. yes, yeah. and image um, make new uh, Muslim generation um, to not to marry and uh, they don't like marriage because they find marriage, uh, marriage yeah, as a um, obstacle for uh, their improvement. Absolutely. But uh, in other hand, we have new family uh, and new spouses, young spouses, that uh, they can't uh, solve their problems. Right. And. Uh, they want to, they want to they want to get divorced unfortunately and we know that um, divorce number in increasing. muslim yes, yes muslim communities increasing okay what's the problem uh, i think we don't know uh, the best communicational skills that muslim spouses uh, should be know Okay. For example, uh, we don't know about the elite and uh, mm, the sample of uh, Islam for having relationship between uh, wife, wives and husbands. Okay. Uh, we don't we don't use it in our, in our life. Okay. Uh, and it's the problem. Uh, for example, in Islam, we have lots of. Uh, narrators narrates that and uh, ayahs and hadith that uh, you should respect each other in your life Absolutely. and for example the best thing that a husband should to do is respect to his wife and it is right of your son that you respect to his mother it all of them shows that uh, we have the very very go good model of communicating uh, in Islam uh, for the relationship of uh, wives and husbands uh, we don't uh, apply do it. it yes we, we don't apply, apply it, it. We, I, I we, we have the rule we have the uh, you know set up things but we are not applying it we, we don't know actual Islam and what Islam actually says to us uh, to spouses 
to a man, to a mm -hmm. woman. So, that is why you are saying the communication gap is one of the crucial factor. Yes. Okay. And for example, we have uh, in uh, Quran, uh, an ayah that uh, it says, uh, it um, talks about uh, and it speaks about uh, spouses in the Jannah. Okay. And uh, it says that uh, in Jannah you have wives that they just look at you and they just sees you okay okay what it means it means that if we uh, as a muslim we think that we should try jannah and heaven in this world and then go to other world it means if you want to be a good wife and good husband you just look at your partner absolutely you, sh you should uh, focus on your life absolutely and but these days uh, we find that Everybody wants to live in others' uh, life way, or we say, for example, uh, the grass <laughs> is always greener on the other side. Yes, and yes. Uh, for example, uh, because some kinds of aristocracy that I uh, can't find why, because of this, if my sister have has it, I should have it. Uh, if my sister-in-law do does uh, these things. I should do it. Yeah, so sister-in-law is having a particular lifestyle, even I yes. want to have a lifestyle. If, if we just focus on our lives and if we just think about our lives. Our blessings. Yes, and uh, we, uh, I, I think it could make us calm down and we can. Lower our expectations. Yes, and we can uh, focus on our lives uh, issues and we can solve them in a right way. And uh, it is uh, a, a sim uh, is an uh, is a example in Quran that your wives and your spouses in Jannah just look at you, just think about you. Subhan. We should practice it in your life these days. Absolutely. And uh, some economical and financial issues can be uh, weaken families. Uh, but uh, I, I think with uh, training families, training uh, young... Uh, um, how to deal with the yes. conditions, how to deal with environment, with your difficulties. Yes, and uh, revising and uh, read again and again uh, our Islamic uh, sources, I okay. think, can be so helpful. Absolutely. We should um, change uh, our mind because Islam is not for, um, for example, uh, 1,040 years ago. Islam yes. is for now. Islam yes. is for all the eras, eras. I'm saying, yes, yes. eras. And uh, you should um, apply it by your new uh, situation and condition. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. That is so beautiful. Uh, and very rightly, you have uh, mentioned all this problem that Nazreen, uh, like we know, we have asked from the Khanam, कि ऐसे क्या फैक्टर्स हैं जो आज हमारे बिलीफ सिस्टम से जो है फैमिली की जो एक हमारे पास इमेज हुआ करती थी उससे वीक क्यों करते जा रही कमजोर क्यों क्यों करता जा रहा है खानम ने बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से हमें बताया कि हम कहां लैक कर रहे हैं खानम ने बहुत ही अच्छा एग्जांपल दिया हमें यहां पर कि कुरान मजीद में अल्लाह ताला इशात फरमाता है कि हमारे जन्नत में ऐसे कपल्स होंगे जो कि सिर्फ एक दूसरे को देखेंगे एक दूसरे के ऊपर फोकस करेंगे तो अगर यही चीज हम अपनी जिंदगियों में अप्लाई करें बजाय जन्नत जाने के और उसका इंतजार करने के वेट करने के अगर हम यही चीज अब अपनी इस दुनिया में अप्लाई करें अपनी जिंदगी पर फोकस करें एक दूसरे पर फोकस करें और एक दूसरे की मुश्किलात को समझने की कोशिश करें यहां पर इन्होंने बताया कि कम्युनिकेशन एक दूसरे से बात करना भी जो है आजकल एक बहुत ही बड़ा फैक्टर है बहुत ही गैप आ जाता है कि आप कहते कुछ हैं वो कोई समझता कुछ और है और समझ के फिर कोई करता कुछ और है ये तमाम चीज़ें नाजरीन बहुत ही सॉफ्ट टॉपिक है बहुत ही सेंसिटिव बहुत ही इमोशनल टॉपिक है जिसे आई एम श्योर जैसे कि खानम ने बताया कि ये इनका ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो है इन्हीं तमाम हसासियत पर जो है काम करता है और ऐसे ही आ, ये जो है वर्कशॉप्स देते हैं नए कपल्स को आ, जो कि नई अजदवाजी ज़िंदगी में जो है कदम रख रहे हैं वो इस तरीके से इनकी काउंसलिंग और इनके वर्कशॉप्स को जो है अटेंड करके अपने आगे आने वाले जो मुस्तबिल है वो इसे बेहतर बना सकते हैं राइट yeah. right.
Uh, Khanam, as we know that uh, you work for women, work with women and uh, you are a social activist. So as a social activist, you must be uh, heard a word uh, named feminism. I wanted to ask you, do we really understand the uh, you know, real meaning of feminism or we are misunderstanding this term feminism? Um, at the first, I should explain for you that uh, feminism uh, was a great movement uh, in the past that uh, gave uh, women uh, some rights uh, at the first okay. place. Uh, especially in European country, okay. uh, gi uh, gave them uh, some opportunities to vote, to be in society, and but in um, next uh, um, generation, or we can say, for example, next waves of uh, feminism, second wave or third wave of uh, feminism. Uh, we found that uh, they uh, do something uh, that uh, it isn't uh, good for women. Uh, I can say uh, mm, when you want to uh, explain for women uh, that your right is exactly that uh, men have uh, as a uh, <laughs> women rights activists and yes. social yes, uh, yes. Activis activists, I think that it is wrong. Okay. Because a woman, a woman doesn't need go to way for, impro for improving or uh, for empowering or for getting uh, the best opportunity. She doesn't um, follow a man way. Right. Because right. we are women with right. special features. For example, uh, look at a woman uh, as a crea uh, creature, uh, that, creation. Uh, yes, yeah. creation that has a productivity feature. Yes. So because of this feature that God uh, put on uh, our nature, we can uh, be more creator creative than men absolutely and absolutely. we can uh, make everything because of these uh, qualities women, yes and women uh, are very very successful all over the world when they want to make opportunity for other women job opportunity educational opportunities all of them because of the feature of a feature of uh, product, uh, productivity yeah. Or uh, another thing, uh, because uh, of the uh, feature that we have in our nature, like uh, we like to care others. Yes. Because of this, in uh, human uh, history, yes. we can find very, very, very powerful women that they are. They uh, were supporting the great leader of uh, that society. For example, Absolutely. in India, you have very powerful uh, female leader uh, that they support men's, men, I'm sorry. And in our uh, country, yes. we have uh, great women that they support uh, our leader, uh, Imam Khomeini, in uh, Iran revolution. Okay. It's uh, based on the caring and uh, caring characteristic that women have absolutely and because of this we think women should improve in their models in their uh, based on uh, a female uh, model not just uh, follow the man uh, way yes. and uh, I, I think uh, it was the wrong and mistake of uh, uh, feminism um, in uh, during the history because uh, they uh, change they uh, change uh, women to men yes yes yes, yes. and they uh, didn't think about it absolutely. that we are women and we should do something in women way absolutely in female way and it was wrong uh, but um, 
I, I think Islam is very different. Absolutely. I think uh, Islam uh, has a good model uh, for uh, activity of uh, women and um, in some case, for example, about 18th century in, in Europe, uh, women didn't have any rights uh, to vote. But in Islam, uh, when uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam wanted to give a promise uh, from, uh, we say, bay'at. Yes. Uh, when men uh, came to him and said, okay, we want to uh, promise and we want to be with you, uh, he said, where are your women? Oh, all right. And all we right. know that uh, Prophet Muhammad put his hand in the water and all of the women of that society put their hands in, in, the, water. in the water and they uh, uh, take the allegiance. Yes, yes. Took the allegiance and uh, it means that so she, uh, it, did, it it means that uh, women had uh, the right of, the, the right to vote uh, in uh, Islam area absolutely yes in the very beginning yes and I don't know why when we have as a Muslim uh, community when we have this kind of sample of thinking about women why we should um, um, follow the Western countries. Absolutely, absolutely. Because we have a very good model for uh, behaving with uh, women. Absolutely. But I, sometimes I think that <laughs> we forgot it. And uh, we want to do something in new modern era that uh, Western country do it. Don't forget that Western countries use women as an object. We called it objectification. Okay. We use women in TV. We use women in mass media. We use women in advertisement industries. And okay, which place they use women in a very, very valuable situation? For example, we use uh, women as a very, very, very uh, cheap worker. And they say, okay, okay, we let women come to our factories and work for us as a worker. And if you look at all over the board, we don't have uh, uh, women in a very important role in economic, uh, economy and something like this. They are very, the number of these kinds of uh, women is very, very less. And the number of workers are very very high absolutely absolutely it means and they just there is this, uh, yeah very, very correctly you have pointed out that uh, we take a women as a, a cheap labor as well yes while uh, if women are coming into uh, you know the workforce they are coming in the uh, economic sector and everywhere there is a huge gap between the pay scale yes if you will see there is a pay scale for a male they say okay he has to run the family and then the same female is coming for running her family, but she's not getting the same. So we have still a huge, a still barrier, a gap in between, and yet we are supporting the narrative of feminism. Yes, yeah. um, it is wrong. I, I think uh, these days uh, feminism is a very, very nice and beautiful uh, thing for just a beautified <laughs> word. Yes. Yeah. Um, it just be something nice for them. Uh, for example, some days in some uh, century, uh, women thought that if we have right to uh, um, right of um, abortion, uh, they can be very free and they can have uh, lots of free sexual relationship. And uh, after a century, they found that Abortion is a very, very big, um, brutal Unlawful issue yes. uh, against them. Okay. Why we should experience something that other women uh, from other countries experience it, ex experienced it? Yes. Why we should experience it again? Uh, 
Absolutely. And I don't. I think um, we should find our uh, own way um, to be active in social um, activities and every field that we think we need to be there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. So women has uh, women have a dignity. Yeah. You and she should be into that dignified manner. She should be uh, treated equally in the society as a male are. But as very correctly you said that male creation is different and female creation is different. We just not, uh, uh, you know, have to forget our identity, the biological uh, identity, the physio physical identity of it. And, at, uh, and remembering everything, every factor, what are the women's strengths, what are the women's weaknesses, everything keeping in mind, we can form a very healthy society. Yes, for example, in uh, philosophy, uh, Islamic philosophy and uh, in lots of Islamic sor um, sources, uh, a woman is a um, representative of uh, beauty of God. Yes. And because of this feature uh, that uh, we are sensitive about, about beauties, about art, we can be very, very successful in this field. So we should in, uh, invest on it. Absolutely. And uh, why, for example, you want to do something like a man. man. Yes. yes. When you can be very powerful in this field. You can beautify uh, things around yes. you. I believe that uh, women uh, should have the opportunity to choose whatever they like. But I think uh, we should train uh, our girls in uh, this way that with a very, very high self-confidence that you are woman and you have very special features that you should work on them, you should develop them, you should improve them and you should use them in a very special field that is especially for you. Created for you. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It is wonderful, wonderful uh, having mm. a talk with you. And it was wonderful knowing your ideas and sharing uh, your experiences with my audience as well. Nice. Khanam Rastigar Panha, thank you so much for coming. And thank you so much for enlightening on these issues, these topic, which is we can say uh, these are global issue yeah. with uh, common problems, common uh, you know point where we can work on it and we can make our society much better. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to be uh, in your uh, channel and in your program, and uh, I wish you, uh, I wish to do something uh, for improving. Uh, women all over the world, especially Muslim women. And uh, again, I thank you. Thank you so much. And we wish you all the best for your future thank uh, you. projects. Thank you, thank you so much. So, Nazreen, as Khanam has told us a lot of great things about feminism, what was the real meaning of feminism, and what was the real meaning of feminism, and what was the real meaning of feminism, فائدے جو لوگ اٹھا رہے ہیں اور کس طریقے سے خواتین کو بتا رہے ہیں کہ آخر تمہارے حقوق کیا ہیں خانم کا کہنا ہے کہ خواتین کو میل کے تیار کیے گئے موڈلز کی ضرورت نہیں ہے خواتین کو ان کے اپنے موڈلز کو بنانے کے لیے اور اپنی ویلیو کو جانتے ہوئے موڈلز کو وہ تیار کر سکتی ہیں اور اس پر چل سکتی ہیں کیونکہ خدا نے جو ہے خواتین میں ایسی قدرت دی ہے ایسی سکلز دیئے ہوئے ہیں کہ خواتین جو ہیں اپنے لئے خود فیلڈز تیار کر سکتی ہیں اور اس میں بہت ہی اچھا اور بہت ہی امدہ جو ہے وہ کردار نبھا سکتی ہیں امید کرتے ہیں کہ آپ تمام کو ہمارا یہ سپیشل پروگرام جو ہے پسند آیا ہوگا اسی کے ساتھ مجھے دیجئے اجازت پر بنے رہی ہے چانل ون کے ساتھ پیغام انسانیت شکریہ خدا حافظ